Welcome, stargazers, to a cosmic spectacle that's bound to leave you in awe. The story of Betelgeuse, a colossal red supergiant star located in the Orion constellation. It's a tale of celestial intrigue, mysterious behavior, and the potential for a breathtaking event that could cast shadows on Earth and illuminate our night sky like never before. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's episode, we delve deep into the heart of Betelgeuse, a star that has captured the imagination of astronomers and sky watchers for centuries. We'll explore its massive proportions, its unusual antics, and the tantalizing possibility of a supernova explosion in the near cosmic future. Join us as we uncover the remarkable discoveries made by astronomers, the implications of Betelgeuse behavior on, and the ultimate behavior of, this colossal star. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant star in the constellation of Orion. It's one of the most luminous stars known to us, shining with a brightness of over a hundred thousand times that of our own sun. Red supergiant stars, like Betelgeuse, are very unstable. They have a lot of mass and energy, but their cores are very dense. This means that they're constantly burning through their fuel at a very rapid rate. Eventually, red supergiant stars run out of fuel in their cores. And when this happens, the core collapses and the star explodes in a supernova. If Betelgeuse were to take the place of our Sun, its edges would extend all the way to Jupiter's orbit. But Betelgeuse is far from middle-aged. It's 10 million years old and could meet its fiery end in a supernova explosion sooner than we think. So what drives a massive star like Betelgeuse to its demise? Well, stars, including Betelgeuse, consume their nuclear fuel, and as they do so, they evolve and expand into different phases of burning different elements. But the climax comes when iron starts forming at the core. Iron doesn't release energy when fused. So the star's energy production can't counteract its gravitational pull. This leads to a massive collapse followed by an explosive supernova. Betelgeuse has been on quite the cosmic journey. Like all stars, it started as a young, hot ball of hydrogen, burning bright in its main sequence phase. But as it aged, it transformed into a massive red supergiant swelling in size and becoming one of the most brilliant objects in our night sky. In 2019, Betelgeuse experienced a strange event. The star suddenly dimmed quite significantly, and astronomers were baffled by what could cause it. Some astronomers speculated that the dimming was a sign that Betelgeuse was about to go supernova. However, other astronomers believed that the dimming was caused by something else, such as a dust cloud or a surface mass ejection. In 2023, astronomers published a study that suggests that Betelgeuse dimming in 2019 was caused by a surface mass ejection. The study found that the eruption ejected about 400 billion times as much mass as an average coronal mass ejection from our Sun. The eruption created a dust cloud around Betelgeuse which blocked some of the star's light and caused it to dim. The dust cloud has since dissipated and Betelgeuse is now back to its normal brightness. Recent research has shown that Betelgeuse has been acting rather unusually. Between October 2019 and 2023, it underwent a remarkable transformation known as the Great Dimming. The star's brightness, which had been consistent for centuries, began to decrease significantly, sparking speculations that we might be closer to its supernova explosion than we thought. By April 2023, astronomical observations reported that Betelgeuse had returned to its standard luminosity levels, leading many to believe that the period of anomaly had ended. Yet, in a startling turn of events, the subsequent months saw Betelgeuse brightness amplifying by an astonishing 50%. But why the sudden change in brightness? 
Why did Betelgeuse, one of the most recognized stars in our night sky, suddenly throw a celestial curveball? Most scientists are holding to a theory involving a colossal surface mass ejection, an SME, somewhat similar to coronal mass ejections from our Sun, but on an enormous scale. The SME ejected about 400 billion times as much mass as the average CME, creating a dust cloud around the star and a large cool spot on its surface, which led to the dimming observed by astronomers. Dr. Andrea Dupre from the Harvard and Smithsonian Center from Astrophysics noted, Betelgeuse continues doing some very unusual things right now. The interior is sort of bouncing. So what's next for Betelgeuse? Could it finally be on the brink of a supernova explosion? Whenever Betelgeuse does finally blow itself to pieces, it will be visible from Earth, even in the daytime sky. But the timing of this explosive end remains a cosmic guessing game, with estimates ranging from between a hundred thousand years to mere decades. But what about us on Earth? How would a Betelgeuse supernova affect our planet and our civilization? There's some speculation that the explosion would release cosmic rays high-energy particles that travel through space at nearly the speed of light. These particles could interact with our magnetosphere, producing stunning auroras and potentially impacting satellite operations. Scientists would closely monitor the Earth's atmosphere for any potential impacts from the increased radiation. But could there be more to this celestial event than meets the eye? Supernovae like Betelgeuse are believed to generate ripples in space-time, known as gravitational waves. Detecting and studying these waves would not only confirm predictions made by general relativity, but also add a new layer of understanding to the mechanisms at play during the supernova. And what happens to Betelgeuse after it dazzles the universe with its spectacular finale? Does it become a black hole, a neutron star, or something else entirely different. That depends on the mass it sheds during the explosion. If it loses enough mass, it could leave behind a dense neutron star, while a more massive core could collapse it into a black hole. Now I know you might be thinking, what if Betelgeuse's supernova has already happened and we just haven't seen it yet? After all, it takes the light of Betelgeuse 650 years to reach us. Well, here's where the cosmic timeline comes into play. When we look at Betelgeuse, we're essentially looking into its past, seeing the light that left the star 650 years ago. So if it exploded 649 years ago, we would have seen it. Considering its recent behavior, it's unlikely that Betelgeuse has already exploded, but we can't entirely rule out the possibility. The question of when we'll witness Betelgeuse's grand finale remains one of the most captivating mysteries in astronomy. So keep your eyes on the night sky and who knows, you might just witness a spectacle that will be remembered for generations. Well, that's it for today's episode from Mysterium. If you enjoyed this cosmic journey, Make sure to press like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on the latest explorations of the wonders of the universe. So until next time, keep your eyes on the skies and stay curious.